Hello! In this video, we will examine septalid joint osteokinematics during pronation and supination movements. Septalid joint is composed of talus, articulating with calcaneus. The joint possesses three degrees of freedom in the three cardinal planes. In the sagittal plane, we observe dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. In the frontal plane, we observe eversion and inversion. In the transverse plane, we observe abduction and adduction. The combination of the three cardinal plane movements will produce the triplanar movements of pronation and supination. Pronation is associated with lowering of the medial longitudinal arch and a pliable foot. In extreme cases, pronation is associated with pasplanus or abnormally low medial longitudinal arch. Supination is associated with elevation of the medial longitudinal arch and a rigid foot. In extreme cases, supination is associated with pas cavus or abnormally raised medial longitudinal arch. There are two possible ways to achieve pronation and supination. First is non-weight bearing when the joint is off the ground and second is weight bearing when the joint is stabilized by the ground. Let's examine non-weight bearing first. In this case, all movements described below will be performed by calcaneus. Pronation is created as a combination of dorsiflexion, eversion and abduction, thus an up and out movement of the foot. Supination is created as a combination of plantar flexion, inversion, and adduction, thus a down and in movement of the foot. Now, let's examine weight-bearing elements. In this case, calcaneus will still move, but only in the frontal plane, through inversion and eversion. Other movements are not possible due to ground mechanically blocking the bone. Thus, the movement will be performed by talus, which will create the same relative movement at the joint. Let's take a look. Pronation is created by calcaneal eversion and taloplantar flexion and adduction. Supination is created by calcaneal inversion and talar dorsiflexion and abduction. Note that the movements created by talus and calcaneus are the same for weight-bearing and non-weight-bearing. The only element that changes is the segment that performs the motion. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a like!